we must still reunite with Golden Cheese Cookie. As well as making contact with the dragons and the elementals. Pure Vanilla Cookie, Polyberry Cookie, Dark Cacao Cookie. Your cooperation and lending of the Soul Jam has allowed us to discover both magic and pearl candies. You have my foremost gratitude in this endeavor. And, once again, I must apologize for involving you in the politics and turmoil of our Republic. I am honored and relieved that the Soul Jam was returned to you safe and sound. You have done much for the world, Clotted Cream Cookie. With the Republic's help, many cookies all over Earthbread will be able to wield a newfound power. And this experience has proven that friendship and cooperation are key components in defeating Dark Enchantress Cookie. We still have a long road ahead of us. We must still reunite with Golden Cheese Cookie. As well as making contact with the dragons and the elementals. Indeed. Our Alliance expedition will be bolstered greatly with their help. Defending the world against the wrath of Dark Enchantress Cookie will be difficult. But by working together, hope remains strong. After all, we are a team. Ah, what an adventure. To think, we started by bickering, and then all of a sudden we're fighting beside each other and the best of friends now. Ah, which reminds me, don't forget Clotted Cream Cookie. We must compete in juice drinking when we get a chance. I look forward to seeing how much you can stomach. <laughs> Ahem. Be prepared. Her stomach is a limitless void when it comes to juice. Uh, uh, <laughs> Why don't we share a glass right now? To commemorate the end of the Council of Heroes. A grand idea. I already thought up a speech for this very moment. <clears throat> Everyone, for peace and friendship across all Earthbred. For peace and friendship! Welcome to the Third Council meeting, my friends. I sincerely hope that today, we finally come to an accord. If you allow me to begin. Esteemed colleagues, my proposition remains on the table. Have you reconsidered your decisions, if I may ask? There is nothing to reconsider. Under no circumstances will I surrender my soul gem. This little stone has caused far too many tragedies to nonchalantly pass around. He's right. Who else can control such power if not us? With all due respect, it seems like we have a difficult discussion ahead of us. How so? Because my opinion regarding this soul gem Conundrum also remains unchanged. You! Enough talking! If you want this power for yourself, just say it loud and clear! Hmm. Perhaps what I'm going to say next will help you understand my logic. A vision of critical importance, if you will. A fact that showed me what can happen when great power is concentrated in the hands of just a few. What is it you're trying to say? I myself was utterly shocked when I heard this. Terrified, even. Yet, it has only reinforced my conviction in the fact that Soul Jam's potential must be shared with everyone. Just get to the point already! Very well. What if I told you that the cookie who inflicted such horrors upon the cookie world was one of the ancient heroes? Dark Enchantress Cookie, formerly known as... White Lily Cookie. What did you just say? Uh, are you... Uh, you... Uh, I don't believe you! This is impossible! But it is true. One of the five craved for more and more power only to become a harbinger of the darkness in the end. Dark Enchantress Cookie desires to rebuild this world in her own image. 
To that end, she requires the power of Soul Jam. Soul Jam. The receptacle for a noble soul, yes. Yet, regardless, a source of tremendous, concentrated energy. Energy capable of building one kingdom from the ground up, and reducing another to ashes and rubble. But power can corrupt. It spawns greed. Greed leads to arrogance. And arrogance can lead even the wise and noble of us to the bitterest of ends. In the shadows of great power are those coveting it, wishing to challenge its owners. Can you keep your power safe indefinitely? This is why it is critical that our Krim Republic, uncorrupted by power, takes the lead of this campaign. This is why there is no other option but to share your soul jam. The more power is grasped, the more it slips away. You are not holding your ground against the chaos. Your stubbornness will be sowing its seeds. Wars, cruel conflicts born out of desire for power. All such grief is born from those that crave strength, those who desire to challenge the balance. The histories of your kingdom serve as perfect examples of this tragic pattern. Lastly, permit me to remind you that Dark Enchantress Cookie herself started the Dark Flower War because of her obsession with the power of your soul jam. Once called a noble, ancient hero, even she was unable to restrain her own greed. Shut your poisonous mouth this instant! Stop! Out of my way! I will not allow you to pass. Listen to the voice of reason! Reason? How dare you? Another proof to my point. I see you are no different from Dark Enchantress, Cookie. Unwilling to part with your precious power. Ugh, I can't open my eyes! This shockwave! I can barely move! Such an overwhelming energy wave, caused by the collision of Soul Jam. To witness it firsthand. Dark Cacao Cookie, come to your senses! Let me go! I will end this arrogant whelp! I said no! Did you forget that we swore to put an end to the Cookies fighting? To friends fighting! And you, Clotted Cream Cookie, you cross the line! How can you sully the names of Cookies sworn to protect others with their lives? Why lie about a noble hero to prove your point? I found it hard to believe myself. Yet it is the sad truth. Am I right, pure vanilla cookie? You knew it all along, did you not? I beg for your forgiveness, my dearest friends. I... I should have told you sooner. <coughs> I told you that the two others refused to come. But I was dishonest. White Lily Cookie is not coming because she is Dark Enchantress Cookie. I planned to tell you the truth, I did. Yet, I could not muster the courage to tell you. How could this be? What this cookie says is right. Soul Jam is too dangerous in our hands alone. I, I could not do anything to prevent this tragedy, even though I was the only one who could. White Lily Cookie desired strength to achieve her goals. Now I understand it was inevitable that she became Dark Enchantress Cookie. There are many ways to protect what is dear to us. Sometimes, when one's own efforts are not enough, it is only natural to ask for help. But White Lily Cookie, she believed that only through more power could she change the course of fate. As she went on, she desired more and more. But too much power can only bring sorrow and suffering. I am so sorry, my friends. I did not want you to learn the truth this way. I am truly sorry. So, he was telling the truth? White Lily Cookie is indeed Dark Enchantress Cookie. But how did it happen? 
that remains a mystery, even for me. I only know she tried to uncover the secret of the cookie's origin. And there, something terrible happened. I can't believe I heard about this from a complete stranger. You... You are just like White Lily Cookie, you know that? You always said how important our friendship was. But all this time, you kept us in the dark. Of all cookies, Dark Cacao Cookie and I were the last to know! Perhaps, since the very beginning, you never thought of us as your peers. I see no more reason to remain here. Fighting together requires trust. Despite the rebuilding of this kingdom, I see the trust still remains in ruins. No, there is nothing and no one to trust here. I... need some time to think. Dark Cacao Cookie! Hollyberry Cookie! They left! Oh no! Is this... is this the end?